And, that's an interesting point. Yeah, that's like a the author's place to shine. Yeah, and so um, uh, there's there's a lot of like just get over here and do your job, and then there's like a lot of exposition about like so. This it's is got a lot of like Sarge and uh, what's that comic strip? Beetle Bailey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's a, it, it might be a little little Beetle Bailey because um, there's <laughs> the a sniper isn't Beetle Bailey, but there, there's a sniper in the trees that takes a shot at uh, the the guy in uh, the the sergeant, mm-hmm. and he calls over for this sharpshooter who uh, whose name is Love. His last name is Love, and this guy says, Love "I already took Love. care of this guy." And he's looking in the same exact tree where he shot this guy before. This is our first yeah. glimpse at a at a, at a zombie. And, yeah, and it does a good job of like revealing the image of the zombie and still making it ambiguous whether it's a zombie. Um, because so he's wearing like the Vietnamese hat. You see him at kind of a weird angle with like some blood on him, but I mean, I guess I know it's a zombie. Right, but uh, this this young guy who has shot this guy before is just like, how is this guy still alive? I've shot him before. I shot him this yeah. morning, and he's so it's not only us, the reader, who can't tell that it's a zombie, but it's this kid too. Right, and uh, I I kind of like this because it sets up that zombies actually can still function a little bit mm-hmm. after, like they're not That's just the- like. You know, like this zombie just took a pop shot at, at, you know. Yeah, no, that's, I didn't really think about that, but that is super important. Like early on defining what type of zombies they are. Because there's a lot of types of zombies out there. I mean, a lot, they all have kind of similar stuff, but. Right, sometimes, you, gotta, you know, sometimes. Can you, they swim? Can they. You yeah, know, it's like, a, a, what was that, that, that 28 days later, the fast zombies? Oh. Oh, yeah, fast zombies. That is one of the things that's comforting about zombies to me is they're slow. Yeah, like but you just run through them, like yeah. do some spin moves. <laughs> spin spin moves. <laughs> Anyhow, these zombies seem to have uh, functions and stuff. And then we're back into the um, back into the back into the trees, and this mission isn't going well. Uh, they're taking fire. All the while that this this was this one was hard for me. There's a young Asian. Oh. Uh, American, who is uh, like, there's lots of racism, and uh, you know, they 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 tease this guy because he looks so much like their enemies, yeah. which it, had to have happened, right? Sure, sure, and um, and of course, like, uh, the bullying never stops, and of course, you know, like the low man on the totem pole has to do all of the grunt work, and in this case, they find a tunnel, and this character whose name is yam but they call him sweet potato ha ha uh yam's a good name i kind of like it i do too they make him go into one of these terrible tunnels which probably was a real thing in vietnam and yeah i hadn't heard of it but i could see it and so he he goes down into one of these tunnels to flush out the enemy see what's see what's what's inside of this tunnel charlie and what's what inside of this tunnel? <laughs> oh, it's a the shoot. I'm not on the page. It's a zombie something. Well, he finds a live person. They take a shot at him, but then he gets into an opening inside of this tunnel. And all this is this is this is. Oh wait, but it, uh, oh okay. But this is sort of I flashback, would, flash forward. It does a lot of flashback, flash forward. And I was I was on a page. I'm like, wait, I thought I was past that. Yeah, yeah so it does with with. The guy going in the hole, it flashes to another scene of uh, like doctors uh, examining a dead body where we see a zombie start to come out and then soldiers in the field who start to see zombies come out. But our guy in the hole, our Asian guy who Larry felt most passionately about what happens in the tunnel, Larry? Oh, this is this is so freaking scary. Cause this guy is doing his job. He's got his he's got his forty five in one hand, his flashlight in the other hand. He's he's grumbling about having to do this. The guys on the outside of the hole are are bullying him as they always have been, and 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 we see like uh, 
from the point of view of looking down this tunnel, we see like hand, a hand come up and sort of reach for the boot of this poor guy, mm-hmm. Yam. Through the ground. And that's like the like when you're walking through a cemetery, that's like your fear. It's like, oh, I hope I just hope I don't see that hand pop through. <laughs> or or what's in front of him is this young gal and she takes a shot at him and she gets him in the arm. And then yes. she makes a break I mean, for she's, it. She's uh Charlie, right? Yeah. And then the guys on the outside waiting for Yam to pop up the flare at the other end, giving them the all clear that this thing is are overrun by zombies. And there's some build up to that. And these zombies are blue zombies. Yeah, they're pretty like yeah, they're kind of like this bluish bluish gray color and in contrast to the green of all the military guys. Yeah, and and so they're and, kind of And I like how the art was good on making even these very minor characters distinct looking. Like this guy who gets bit, like light in the cigarette, he's got a he's got his own face even though he's like <laughs> just about to be eaten. Yeah, we're not going to uh, We'll me, never see me, him again. Yeah, we'll never see him again. He might as well have been wearing a red shirt. <laughs> uh so um but yeah, there's a sort of a build up to this, and I thought the build up was good. This the the writer does a good job with the with the tension because they're 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 all talking about like the smell that's coming off of one another, like what is that terrible smell? And they're all describing it to each other, and then yeah. there's it's the like, smell. It's like Dracula. Do you ever read Dracula? Because like all the people they stay at Dracula's house, and we all know it's Dracula, but they're like, oh, you know. There was a strange chill when he walked into the house, and <laughs> <laughs> he, the wolves were howling every night. And... Yeah, Ooh, so yeah, it's probably the zombies right behind you. Zombie stink, and they and and they're right behind you. And so there's some fire. There's some. Didn't know zombies smell bad. I mean, I guess I probably assumed that. But... Yeah. Uh, and then and then like. Uh, uh, one of these zombies what if they like smelled like popcorn. That'd be cool. Oh, they, they would they would do a lot more business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they would have, they would get my business. I'd be eaten by a zombie. Where are you running? <laughs> Wait I a love second. popcorn. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, I've been tricked. Uh, so outside this outside this uh tunnel, the the firefight happens. The zombies get the jump on these guys. Uh, there's a grenade that's get that gets scattered, mm-hmm. and something like there's huge explosion. The grenade, just like the grenade from the cover. Yeah, the the uh, there's huge explosion. All the while, uh, Yam is in the in the tunnels, and he can hear the explosion. Still, and that's not and, where you want to, an explosion. And uh, he's just kind of trying to make his way out when all of a sudden these hands start coming out of nowhere, and his hand yeah, grabs so him like by the, the face come from the bottom. Now it was like at the same time, like ten hands exploded all directions of the tunnel. And the one that gets him by the face is like, oh, it's so gross! And he shoots it it right at like wrist level, and mm-hmm. like blows the hand off of it, like off of its arm. Yeah, and then he has the bloody knife too. Yeah, this is pretty pretty brutal stuff. So he's just like hacking and yeah, slashing. Yeah, especially this next page where he shoots the guys and the zombies in the head, and one of them, I don't know why this struck me so much. He's the head blew up, but the one eyeball is still there. Oh yeah, that's all. That's it's like hanging in the <laughs> middle where the head would be. Yeah, this is some pretty gory art. I bet that's really gory, and I've never seen quite that image before. Yeah, that is like yeah, it's just an explosion of uh, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty gory stuff. And uh, yeah, so he had made it out into like this open area of this tunnel where there are zombies chomping on one another. Or the dead, and uh, he just takes them all out. takes uh takes five quick shots and and kills these zombies. And there happens to be a he cute seems little... like a pretty good, well trained military guy. Yeah, and there there's there's a little bunny uh, in inside of a cage, and he opens up the cage, and the bunny yeah, shows him. Yeah, I didn't him. really get that. What what was this cage? Uh, I think that uh, I think that bunny was going to be food for. For oh, who, whoever so like lived these down. zombies used to be Viet Cong, but then they got zombified. Right. Okay. And yeah. then now, the bunny. The bunny, uh, don't go chasing rabbits. But we now it, know that animals can be zombies. Another extension. 
What what do you mean? This this bunny wasn't a zombie. This bunny helped him. The bunny helped, like he like he, he lets the bunny out of the cage and the and the yeah, bunny, the bunny like, shows him the way to freedom. Yeah, it shows but, him the way to freedom, but then his dog outside the thing chomps up the um thing. Oh, okay. I misread this cuz I thought when the dog eats the bunny, then the dog became a zombie. Oh, no, no, the dog so ferociously. Well, but what... then I realize you turn the page and you see what he's barking at, and it's a. Can you describe it? It's weird looking. It's. I think this is what I think. I think this was a mass grave. Oh. Of newly dead people, and they oh. morphed into one of one That's another. So crazy! That's such a cool idea. I never thought of that. Yeah, because all those mass graves, it was just like bodies all buried together, mix match, and if it becomes a zombie, then it's like this giant mash of arms and legs and heads. Oh, uh, okay. That's and such it a makes, cool concept. It makes a very, very scary monster. You can see why the dog's barking at it. <laughs> oh, this was a, this was a very straightforward, yeah, scary zombie book. Um, I love this sort of stuff. I love. I I read. I, I've read all of this sixty-eight. Uh, I've read. You know, I'm current on. Uh, all the zombie shows, you know, like I, I, I like zombies. Zombie guy. Yeah, I'm a zombie guy. Uh, I'm a zombie zombie. <laughs> so, James, uh, this art. Wait. What? Oh yeah, that's you, what I was gonna ask you. Did now you you mentioned that you like the look of the people? I kind of get. I I like the look of the people too. I think there's a little like um. I don't it know. Very like realistic. It's it's a very realistic looking book. It it's got um I mean for having zombies, everything besides the zombies looks very normal. Yeah. And even yeah. the zombies kind of look normal. Even that last weird crazy zombie. Yeah, it's dark and there's I like that sketchy look to it. The the I'm looking at the panel where where he is hacking and slashing through the um the light behind or the light at his hand and he's hacking and slashing at the at the hands coming in all directions around this yeah, circular hole. Parts. This is a great looking panel. So I guess one of the things that I wish maybe could be a little different is it seemed very bright. Like the color scheme seemed really bright. So when you're talking about that scene in the in the tunnel where it's dark, I'm like, oh I really like this. I think it matches the the artist's style a little better is the darkness. Yeah. And especially for the theme, too. It just seemed a little bright for me. Uh, Right. Yeah, I mean, it, it it wouldn't be that bright down in that dark hole. Yeah. That's some bright red blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just... Yeah, that's true. He's just like, oh, I like this. Blue, I, purple I like this art. I, I, I think that... um, I think that some of the anatomy from some of the... You know, some of the, you know, it's, it's like, I'm just kind of looking at that straight arm, blam, blam, blam. I think there could have been a little more time spent with just the detailing of the anatomies of people. You know, this looks, mm-hmm. it doesn't look like stick figures, but it also doesn't look like. You it's know, plain. It's a little plain. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, like I said, I re- these are great zombie stories, and there's there's this this uh this volume is completely free on Comicsology, and then there's yeah, a one shot in the same volume, so it's good stuff. Yeah, so uh, I ended up ranking it number twelve, just above twenty seven. Twenty seven sixty eight. <laughs> there you go. All right. Sixty eight twenty seven. Sixty eight twenty seven. Right on. That's a yeah. good. That's a good good spot for it. You know, fifty percent. Right on. All right, James. So, uh, I'm, 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 I'm staying with the scary theme here, but I don't want to get too monster, monster, monster. But okay. there's one more monster I want to talk about. <laughs> oh, okay. Next week, and then it'll, it, Halloween will be mash? Halloween will be over, and then we'll just get back into unicorns and bunnies. We'll go back. We'll go to our November, all the November comics. All the November comics. But next week, we're going to talk about Hellboy. This is absolutely oh. free on Comixology. I've read some Hellboy here and there, uh, and I've actually read this. Uh, 
help. I think I saw the first movie. Yeah, well, this is kind of, if 